Hey y'all, Grand Rising. We're gonna see what the collective needs to receive today. All right. Wow, look what we got here. <laughs> the prostitute. Okay, somebody needs to be aware of this energy. It says they place material considerations and security above self empowerment. All right, so that's that's what they do. Let's see. Yeah, look, you cannot make this up. We have lover here. All right, somebody's lover is on some karmic shit, okay? They place material consideration and security above everything else. That's that's how that goes. It says here, obsessive passion that harms others, self-destructive devotion, all right? So this is definitely somebody who is um karmic, all right? Let's see. They could be obsessed with you. Obsessive passion that harms others. Like, it's giving psycho, it's giving fatal attraction <laughs> so you need to be aware of this energy let's see what we got here we have mystic and then we have here deletante all right it says here pretension oh yo somebody yo spirit is going hard right now like coming at somebody's kofi right now coming for somebody's head all right delusional report with the divine pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess like who is this delusional Carmisha. <laughs> they pretend to be connected to the divine. They pretend like they know things, like they are wise, and they're not. This is somebody who is just like, just faking it, you know, faking the phone. They just fronting out here in these streets. Okay, so what's at the bottom here? You cannot make this up. A trickster spirit. You need to be aware. All right, it says here, manipulating others. Okay, this is somebody who manipulates others. Okay, they lie, they pretend to be spiritual, they pretend to be connected to the, to the divine, they pretend like they know things and they don't know shit, and they also pretend like they don't put material and, and security above other things, you know, like they all about the money basically, which is nothing wrong with, you know, wanting to have stability, but clearly we have a prostitute here laying down naked with money on her, and it says prostitute, so you know, that's what we're talking about here, <laughs> okay, so this is not cute, all right, let's see what, what we get, let's pull some messages, because I was not expecting that, you know, like, it's like, I be trying not to give tea all the time, like, I want to give some, some motivational messages, but this is tea right here, <laughs> this is tea, <laughs> oh my god, so it's like, spirit is just like, listen, this, this, is, what, this is what the collective needs to know, this is what the collective is going to get right now. This tea. All right. So. Holy Spirit, what is the message here? Like, you know, we got this energy coming out. What do you want the collective to know about this energy? Maybe you got to let this go or you let it go. And, you know, you got to make sure you don't look back. Let's see what we get. All right. Nine of Cups. The judgment, the nine of swords, and the two of cups. What's at the bottom here? Underlying energy. Oh, I told you they don't want to let go. <laughs> this person, either you are you already are broken up with them, and they're trying to make sure they keep you stuck because with the nine of cups, you bring fulfillment to this person. You know, uh, it could be again the money is the only thing that they care about here, the security. So you pay bills, whatever it is that you do for this person, um, they want to keep you around. So with the judgment, you know, they're scared. They're scared with the judgment and the nine of swords that you are going to make a judgment call on this connection here with the two of cups. On this situation, they, they're scared that you're going to make a, a judgment call. All right. And they're, they're scared because, again, they don't want you to make this judgment call to end it. All right. So let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else? Page of Swords reverse manipulation. There could be a group of people here. Okay, three of cups. It says uh, a community. And then we have the two of wands. Okay. <laughs> manipulation community and two of wands. They're planning something. It says here future planning. So they're trying to figure something out here. Bottom of the deck. Why? Because they don't want to miss an opportunity. Okay. They don't want to miss an opportunity. So this manipulation could very well be voodoo. Because we already see that she pretends to be connected to the divine and you know flip it for some of y'all this prostitute could be a masculine all right carmelo carmisha flip it however you need to for your situation but it's the energy of a lover here who is trying to hold on by any means necessary so let's clarify let's see what is this uh manipulation holy spirit what are they planning to do here 
this community. You know, it says here, circle of support. <laughs> All right, it could be her, uh, her family. She could be part of a coven, you know, a religion or whatever that pretends to be into God and they're not. All right, because we already see here with the mystic, she is not connected to the divine, but she pretends to be. All right. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so they don't want to adapt to change. So Two of Pentacles is somebody going like this. Like, should I do it or should I not? We have here decisions and priorities. All right, so this person is trying to figure out right now. Yeah, look, stress. They like, should, should we do this? What are they trying to do? <laughs> All right, we got here. They stress. They burnt out right now because they, they don't know they should do this plan with this community here. Let's keep going and see. Okay, let's see. So they're stressing right now. They should do this. What are they trying to do, Holy Spirit? Look, they want to take a leave. <laughs> oh, my God. But they, look, they're scared because the justice is in the bottom here. All right? So... They want, this is telling me that they want to do something else. Like somebody want, is choosing violence or trying to set you up. All right. This could be that they, you know, they don't want to get caught by the justice system. Tell me more, spirit. What else? Or they're scared you're going to get your justice. So we're going to keep going. The Hermit in the Reverse. Again, the Manipulation card. We have here um, a, a, a king of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So they could, um, with the hermit in the reverse, this is telling me like, this could be a practitioner. We do have a king of pentacles reverse here. Clarify this hermit in the reverse. Because again, we got page of swords again. Manipulation keeps coming out. So let's see. right here yeah they're trying to do something because they don't want you to free yourself so they're using this devil energy to bind you okay bind you uh we have here bondage okay that's what they're trying to do devil energy so this hermit card in the reverse this is the three of swords here trying to cause some type of pain all right look we have a bully here and then the king of pentacles all right so this is telling me they're trying to fuck with your finances okay all right that's why the justice card is coming out because maybe they see that you are protected. You are coming out in the upright as the king of pentacles. You could be the queen of pentacles, right? It's like you're not in the reverse. They're trying to put you. Look at the king of pentacles here. They want you to, to be in this energy. Like this other person. There's a, there's a king of pentacles here that could be helping this karmic in the reverse. They're trying to like lower you to their energy. And they're not, all right? And the reason why they do this is because since I keep seeing pentacles and money, and again, it started from money. This is telling me that that's the main goal here to try to do like an energy swap, try to like swap you out with maybe this is like the, uh, like I said, the, the hermit in the reverse is like the practitioner. So this could be maybe like the ringleader of this cult, this coven or whatever. They trying to do an energy swap because they all going to eat from, from your energy. All right. From your king of pentacles energy, this abundance that we have here. They're going to all eat from that. So that's what they're trying to do right now. They're trying to lower your vibration somehow. All right. So this is just basically them trying to send party the karmic to start, you know, some drama. Again, we have obsessive passion. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe she just doesn't stop. So Spivet is, just, is letting you know, do not get into the bullshit. Do not fall for this shit because they are trying to like siphon your energy any way that they can. Okay. And they're scared because with this justice, you know, I feel like they feel like, you know, you are protected and, they, and they're not going to be able to do this. Let me clarify this justice real quick. Hey, come on now. Oh, yeah. Right here. They're going to be losing money. All right. They know that they're going to be losing money. But let me just do it again because the car just, whoa, damn, they just want to keep coming out. Oh, you cannot make this up. All right. Spirit is like, yes, this is what's going on here. They know that they are going to have a lack of success. They are going to be disappointed. They are going to be, uh, you know, we have here in the upright, this is so, talking about abundance as well, you know, achievement, you know. So them not, not getting this achievement is what they're scared of with this justice. They know that you are protected, all right? So, yeah, look, right here, bottom of the deck. They know that it's a poor investment. They're going to have a decreased fortune. This is the inheritance that they're trying to steal from you. So it's like they know that if they cannot take this from you, they're fucked, <laughs> 
<laughs> they're going to be in, in, in poverty stricken karma. That's what's happening here. All right. So is this Karmisha and this person that's helping her. Okay. They're trying to siphon your energy. They're trying to do some type of energy swap and it's not working. Okay. All right. So let's uh, pull some messages. All right, any messages that the collective needs to know, Holy Spirit? Again, look, mystic, and we have mysticism. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like something definitely about this karmic pretending that they are that they are connected and they're not, you know, discovery. They're not on their journey. They're not on their path. Okay, let's see what we got here. Perseverance and instinct. All right, keep listening to your instincts, trusting your intuition. Continue to move forward with perseverance. Don't look back because we already know this karmic is trying to hold you back. You have, yeah, focus on your destiny. Yeah, and, and creating miracles. Okay, these miracles is this abundance, you know, that you have here waiting for you. Tell me more. Okay, these people are going to be dissipating, okay, every day. Because they are people that are impatient, all right? They don't want to do the work. Yeah, they don't want to go through the healing. They don't want to go through the whole spiritual journey, you know? They just, they're very impatient, and this is what's going to happen to them. Yeah, they're out of balance, and they're going to remain in that energy. Yeah, they're not going to get the key, you know? They're not going to get recovery. They're not going to heal. They're going to stay in this low vibration because they want to be gossiping about you. They want to be working in this community to try to throw you off. Yeah, and now they're going to be experiencing grief. For some of y'all, they're going to have some type of death that they're going to be experiencing. This could be also a, a pet. Maybe their pet is going to die or some shit, or they even sacrificed this pet. Anything else, Spirit? Again, mysticism. All right, so you are the mystic here. Yeah, and you're going to have happiness and joy. And abundance, all right? So don't even worry about this Carmisha, Carmelo. Don't even worry about none of that shit. Know that you're protected. Continue to stay prayed up. Continue to get out in nature. Keep your vibration high. And you good. You have nothing to worry about, all right? That's what I got, y'all. Stay woke.